You mentioned that one of your success, uh, successful experiences was actually getting the job here. Let's yeah. talk a little bit about that, that career journey that you've gone through. How did you get this job here? At yeah, Dog well, Energy? I think I should start by saying that I'm not a typical profile for what I do uh, in the office. Uh, uh, I sit, uh, sit around with a lot of economists, hardcore economists that, that are number crunchers. I sit around with uh, people uh, with, with legal degrees. Uh, and uh, being a communications person, uh, I, I was reading through the, the, the job description when I, wanted, when I decided to apply. And there was parts of it where I could see that this specific task involved communication competencies. So being able to couple the communications perspective with, with business, that really, uh, that really was a driver in, in, in getting this job. Okay. And, and be able to, being able to sit in the interview situation and also through the application, the written application, to demonstrate that I actually, act, I actually saw a need for Dong Energy, for this specific part of the organization, to make use of my, my competencies as a communications ma major. So you showcased your, your special talents? I think so, yeah. Did you have a job before Dong Energy? Yeah, and that's also the, the uh, special part of it. I, uh, I've studied communications, but I've also always had a big interest in society and politics, okay. which led me to, to uh, apply for student jobs uh, that revolved around politics, namely climate politics, uh, when climate and energy are two sides of the same coin. Right. So that, that got, got me some, some knowledge outside my study program about politics and to work with poli policy which I could then bring into the communications discipline that I learned from the school.